creating uh, images that you want to use for your Film Filmora videos, what you're going to need to do is you're going to make sure that they are YouTube size so that they fit on the screen um, on YouTube and Facebook. And so it's important to use the right size images. And so what I like to do is I'll go to Canva. And Canva already has a template. It says YouTube thumbnail. And I'll just click on the thumbnail because what I'll do is it'll give me a YouTube size. And then what you can do is you will import or upload your images to Filmora, I mean to, excuse me, to Canva, and use them and place them over this. So what I like to do is go to the elements, I choose the grid, and then I just select the one with the one. Okay, and you can have two images in the same thing, however you want to do it. But all I'm really doing is basically making um, an image this the right size for YouTube that's it okay so it doesn't have to be super fancy um, unless you want it to be super fancy okay so you're gonna have to get your images from either you know Pixabay or anywhere that's gonna let you use free images for commercial use images you can use Im anywhere in videos or whatever um, so you can just pick your image you know say I wanted a butterfly um, I would just you know, pick the butterfly that I wanted, and I would download that butterfly, say that was the one I wanted. Okay, so now that butterfly is in my downloads folder. I would then go over to Canva. I would upload that butterfly. Oops, go to my downloads folder, because that's where I saved it. Um, excuse me, let's find that butterfly. Oh, this is, there he is. Okay, and so, and all I would do is I would take that butterfly and I would drag him over here, okay? And now he is perfect YouTube thumbnail size. You could also go into PicMonkey, and you can do it, edit a photo if you have, or no, I'm sorry, if you have PicMonkey, you can go to Design, and you will, oh, I'm so sorry, I hate when this happens. Okay, go to PicMonkey. This is why I don't use PicMonkey, as I usually use Canva. Uh, I'm going to go to Design, and I need a custom size. And the custom size is 1280 um, by 7, ooh, this is why I like Canva too, uh, by 720. Okay, so a custom size, 1280 by 720. Okay, and now we'll just hit Make It. And the same thing, you would just add your picture over it um do, do, do. you can either go to textures and do it There's a few ways you can actually do it in pick monkey okay and there it is it's got a fade on so you might have to turn that off and just hit apply you know it's that right size you could also in pick monkey here's another way to do it let's go back sorry go to pick monkey again and you can just edit the photo down to that size. Now, the only reason I don't like doing that is because I can never seem to center it or make it perfect. But that's okay. Um, you can also edit the butterfly photo. Grab Mr. Butterfly. And we can make him YouTube size by cropping him down to YouTube size. 1280 by, what was it, 720. Okay. Scale the photo. And then go ahead and just, you know, select the area and hit apply okay and now that is YouTube size okay and you can save that any which way you want I like to save things as numbers so that when I pull the numbers into Filmora like watch I'll just say this is number uh, 61 okay done and then I'll download it because we don't really need keywords to be downloading stuff in Filmora I know most of us are keyword minded but we really don't need that uh, what I need to know is how to find this photo that I'm downloading into Filmora. So then when I go into uh, Filmora to get that picture, I would just go Import, Media Files. I would find number 61, right? And there it is. Okay, and that's, that's just how I do it. It makes it easy for me. And now this picture is um, the right size for YouTube as well. Okay? So hopefully that helps you. You can do it any which way you want. You can use Canva like I did, or you can go ahead and just save it from PicMonkey. Again, you can just save it as a number if you wanted to, you know, 61, whatever number you wanted. Save to your computer, um, and then just, you know, upload it 
into Filmora um, using import media, which is in another video, just import the media. Okay?